Well, good morning, everybody. We're reading through Lamentations chapter 3, 4, and 5 today. His mercies are new every morning. Thank God. <laughs> and um, he's so good to us. He really is. And um, as we read through Lamentations, uh, we have to read through it with the understanding that um, he gave them the perfect way. He gave them the perfect way. He brought them into a way that was supposed to bring them into prosperity, health, wellness, um, joy, uh, peace. These were all supposed to be the things, all the fruit. They were the benefits of the Lord. Forget not his benefits. Such tremendous benefits. And people chose... Uh, instead of remaining in a, in a relationship of faithfulness, they decided to do their own thing. Today, uh, we find a lot of people who, who want to blame God for a lot of stuff. Things don't go their way, they blame God. Um, disaster hits, they blame God. There's so much that they, they blame uh, the Lord for. Uh, but very few are willing to be honest and, and look at the relationship they have and, and look at what actually caused this thing. Uh, quite often, when we, when we look at it, we discover that we actually cut ourselves off from the source of all blessings. Uh, that we uh, decided that we knew what was best. We struck out on our own. Uh, we didn't follow his instructions. We didn't follow his plan. We didn't follow his ways. We just did our own thing. And it resulted in complete disaster. And so then we turn around and we blame him. And quite often we don't even realize that we're doing it. That's the real shame. Uh, we do these things without realizing we're doing it because we don't know him that well. We don't take the time to know him that well. Uh, we understand that he's our redeemer, that he's redeemed us. We accept that. And once we've accepted that, we think that that's it. It's all over. We don't understand the progression that it takes. We don't understand the growth that's ahead of us. We don't understand the fullness that we're supposed to grow into. Uh, we don't understand these things. And, um, and because we don't, we're, we're short-sighted. And when he is, he's trying to encourage us and help us along into greater maturity, uh, we're not happy with that and we want to do our own thing. And in doing our own thing, we get into trouble and then we blame him. The incredible thing is that he's never far from us, even in that state. And all we have to do is call out to him and he rushes into the room to, to rescue us. He, he loves to do that. He loves to come in. It doesn't matter how many times. Remember Peter said, how many times do I have to forgive? <laughs> Seven times? Uh, and, and the Lord basically, the answer he gave him is to infinity and beyond. There's no end to forgiveness. There's no end to our Father's forgiveness. That's the edge of grace that we, we live in right now. And uh, for this, we need to rejoice. For this, we need to praise him and worship him and, and be glad in this. Uh, but, the, but the best thing, the best thing, in, in, instead, of, instead of having to be restored, is, is just to remain faithful. Just know his ways. Learn his ways so that you will know him. Learn his ways. Learn what righteousness is. Learn what he says is right compared to what he says is wrong and choose what is right every single time you just do that do that and uh, it's it's amazing the blessings that will absolutely flow through your life because because that's what obedience allows so, uh, uh, obedience allows those blessings to flow uh, we don't obey um, to get blessings those blessings are ours it's just disobedience can block them so obedience allows the flow. So yeah, he, listen, he deserves all the praise, all the worship, all the glory. And uh, yeah, think on that today. You guys be blessed, be encouraged. Love you all. Have a great day.